guys i want to share something with you guys i'm almost at my um stop like my office is really close by uh but i want to share something with you guys so when i first came here when people say things like um it's such a nice day out oh it's so nice outside oh it's so pretty outside oh the weather is so good outside i'll be like what's so good about this weather <laughs> now i know what a good weather is because i was just walking down the sidewalk okay and i was like i was talking to myself and i was like oh this today is so good the weather today is so good it's so nice out i was like ah, ah. yeah Dora, you now know what a good weather is like huh Hey, you've gone through some kind of weather in this place and you know what a good weather is. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make calls collide really beat up I wanted to make this video yesterday at the um, at the store I went to sorry I'm going to have to try to talk a bit louder than I usually do because I don't have my microphone I just I tried to use it this morning and I just realized that it's like the battery is down I didn't charge it I think I remember charging it maybe I charged it and I didn't switch it off and the battery has discharged so I can't use my microphone so I'm trying to charge it now but I'll just talk to you guys basically I'm just here to sh tell you guys about what's been going on so the weather has just been acting up okay I think our summer days are over we're in fall proper proper now even with the fall proper proper there are some things I still expect from fall I still expect a uh, 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 normal temperature guys i wake up this every day now most days to minus two to four degrees five degrees sometimes 10 degrees eight degrees very cold the other day myself and my kids were walking to school and on the ground we saw frost <laughs> if you see the fear <laughs> And let me tell you why I was scared. I was scared because I never do anything. I've not done anything for for um, winter, like winter preparation, guys. We haven't done winter preparation, myself and my husband. And to be honest, I think one of those days, my son caught a cold from the winter. Guys, my son caught a cold, though. and the result of that cold that he caught was that I did not go to work for several days because I had to nurse him. So it was really, really important that we get this shopping out of the way. So, guys, I went to Winners yesterday, and I got proper winter stuff. I already have some. I cannot drag everything in here, but I'm just going to show you some of the things that we got, okay? 
this is my own winter jacket i've had this for a while i bought this when i first came into calgary um I'm trying to remember when that was now so this was the jacket i got i liked it because it had this inside it has this reflective layer that's supposed to keep you warm okay guys when you're buying jacket then check check around it it will always tell you the degree to which it can keep you warm it has several pockets so you can use it different places you can either sorry this thing is how to get you can either put your hand here or you can put it at the side it has a very big four four thing here that's supposed to protect you keep you warm i took it out because it's not yet winter and i feel like that thing just does a dead giveaway that this is a winter jacket so i took it off you can put it back i think most of the jackets even the one i bought for jena it came with that stuff you can put it you can take it off you can take it off after winter is over and you want to dry, dry clean your jacket just take it off so that the fur doesn't get ruined i took it off because it just made it it just made it more cumbersome okay so this is my own jacket i bought this jacket then for 150 no i think it was more than that i bought this jacket for like 160 or so guys winter jacket is expensive I said it in my other video, okay? You have to plan for it. You have to keep the money aside. Don't let anybody deceive you. You need it. My son took ill because he didn't have the proper winter things. He caught a cold. Thank God it wasn't more than that. He caught a cold. This is just supposed to make sure that when you wear your gloves, your hands are not exposed, okay? So it's attached to the jacket. I think any good winter jacket should have this thing. And then you just, all the way, will cover everything. Then if the fur is here, it will cover up your, at least a part of your face, guys. We don't know what to expect. We have not seen winter. <laughs> but the small one that we have seen, hey, please, oh. <laughs> Thank God for the medicines I brought. Guys, all those medicines I brought that time that I was saying I did not use, and they use them all. If I had all the fear, say, ha, and this medicine go rich, I start using all of them, guys. The eucalyptus oil, even the augmenting for Eliana, because Eliana picked up an upper respiratory tract infection in school. I had to treat her. I've opened her pyritine because she's having, every day is cold. Every day is one thing or the other. Guys, bring your drugs. So this is the winter jacket i got for eliana from winners i'm honestly thinking if i shouldn't go back and return it just because it's so snug on her but it's for six years old see this is for six years i be am i not going to buy her seven years jacket won't it just swallow her but i wore her two sweaters and i put this on top and i zipped it at the end and i think it's okay the long run is that we might have to buy her a jacket next winter i think her father will not like that too but so this jacket cost us 109 dollars guys 109 dollars it came with the snow pants now let me tell you something if you have a toddler hmm, you are going to need snow pants this is what snow pants look like this is what it looks like okay this is what it looks like this one has a zip at the back guys this is what snow pants look like they are thick they are insulated just the same way this is guys the reason why you will need snow pants for your third is because they send them out when the weather is not too cold if they need to go out for playtime they will send them out if it is not too cold and it might be snowing you want your child to be properly protected against the cold. The handle, the lego, everything. I showed you winter boots that we got. We got that since. So I don't need to get her winter boots. But she needed a proper winter jacket and she needed snow pants. Not all the kids by need snow pants. I didn't get snow pants for my older daughter. Just because. Because I feel like she, she might not want to wear it. But let's see. I might still get her snow pants. So 
and Maggie has no pants. It was a two-piece item. I think you can buy them separately. This is a two-piece out item. They came together, okay? The jacket and this. And this, the tag said until minus 25 degrees. So we got that. Now, this is my winter jacket. Yesterday I got I got um a, what did they say? I, I call this thing a cap and my colleagues say it's a hat. That everything that you put on your head is a hat. That there's nothing like that there's nothing like cap. Cap is face cap. Uh, this thing is a uh, hat. So I got a winter hat, guys. Look at it though. I could not find anything cute, cuter. I was actually looking for something that would match this jacket. Now that I look at it, this thing will match. Well, I got manager. I got these mittens. There was this lady who left a comment on my um, channel. Thank you, sis. She said something about buying merino merino wool for that merino wool online merino wool mittens i checked for that merino wool mittens online guys i was not seeing anything cheaper than 100 and something maybe 120 you see the buying for this um winter thing is never enough you will buy a tire you will buy a tire but the good thing is that they don't get spoiled they are seasonal once the season is over you just store them once you can store them you can reuse them okay now imagine you have a family of five that everybody needs to have stuff like this just think about how much money you're going to be spending okay and i'm talking to people who have families who have kids put money aside save as much as 800 1000 for all your winter stuff for your family. If you're a large family, if you're a family of three, if you're a family of five. By the time you buy thermal wears, buy leggings, buy your, your ski pants or snow pants, buy your winter jackets for each of you. And I've told you how much I bought my winter jacket. It cost me almost 200. When I went to winners yesterday, that's how much the jackets were. I saw cheaper ones, so, but they don't offer that much protection. You want to get a good jacket you're coming from nigeria we're not used to this weather save money aside because you will keep buying just like i told you now that i might have to get this i might have to get that for um jaina all those are unforeseen expensive so keep that money aside okay especially if you're coming in winter if you're coming in summer you can catch a break you'll be buying this thing slowly before winter so you don't have to have long money but if you're coming at once and they're coming in winter Keep that money aside. So these are thermal wears. I'm going to show you. We got this from these are thermal wears, guys. We got this from Walmart. Okay. Um, I didn't even know they sell them there. It was someone who told me, um, my friend, when I was telling him that my son got ill. Oh, you can get thermal wear at Walmart. I didn't know. And I've been looking for this thing online. So these ones we got from Walmart. How much? This was $15 for one, okay? I got each of my children two each, and I got for myself as well. Okay, and they're different sizes. This is medium. I think this is for Jaina. I haven't opened hers yet, okay? Um, they're just things that you wear. You layer them inside. So say you want to wear a sweater, you just wear this under. It's close to your body, and it provides heat, okay? You can wear this and then wear your shirt and then wear a sweater and then you can wear your jacket i opened eliana's own it's a bit big for her but it's a good thing so she will grow into it and it will cover longer okay you can also tuck it in if it's too long but this was a this was size small and children have different ones from adults i couldn't find i don't like getting them the same thing because when you're washing, you won't know which one is whose own, but they didn't have any other one for kids. The ones that were playing were sold out. In fact, that place was empty. We just managed to get these ones. We did, I didn't really... People are buying their winter stuff, so there's not much, a lot. I don't know if they will make more later. 
this is for adults now these things if you go to walmart you not just see them there we looked for them eh we looked for them so much i had to talk to the uh, attendant there she was the one who pointed me as to where they were but they are in the underwear section guys just go there look for them you will find them they are in the underwear section over time we'll add to what we have so i'm just opening up mine so that i can show you guys what it's like i got size large i already have one but i got two for myself so this is it right and this is for ladies the one for men is with my husband and they're different sizes i got large i just feel like these things when you wear it wear them it will shrink so well, when you wash them it will shrink so you don't want to get something that you now wear and it will shrink and you now be struggling inside i don't want to struggle yeah so i got her leggings but these are not just any kind of leggings these leggings are the types that are half fleece inside okay you might not be able to see but they have fleece in oh yeah showing they have fleece inside so look out for that guys they are in winners so i got her two hmm? and i got her um, joggers okay these joggers they also have fleece because these are things she already has some i think she has like maybe three three or four joggers already so these are just to add guys so that we don't run out of stuff because in the mornings when you're trying to get them ready you don't want to be looking for things you want to be able to have options especially for Eliana. this is one of the sweaters i got for her from winners very thick and so cute it's a turtleneck i don't really see a lot of turtleneck things for kids maybe i'm not looking in the right place but when i saw this one i just grabbed it because you can layer this guys you can layer this under anything and you can put this on top of anything you can even put it under her under her jacket and i got these other sweaters as well she has others okay i have sweaters i'm still gonna get for myself but i think i can wait a while let me see there are two in a set they cost $24, $24.99, okay? Aish. $24.99, okay? This one costs, this one colors cost $9.99, okay? This sweater, $9.99. Just be doing the maths. This one costs $16.99 $16 for these joggers, $16.99. These leggings cost twelve dollars ninety nine okay now this thermal wears cost fifteen dollars each i bought two for her these are her two okay that's thirty dollars already then this is snow tin the jacket cost a hundred and nine dollars guys everything here should be about two hundred dollars and this is not what she can wear every day okay so just do the maths that's what i'm telling you save up to at least a thousand dollars if you have a big family as large as mine save more if you have a larger family please adjust your head mentally to this fact and save up your money for this purpose yeah so that's just eliana you can see how much she spent then me just yesterday alone for myself thank god i already have a jacket this and this cost me this is 19 19.99 and this is 24.99 and then i bought this two thermal wears these two thermal wears are 30 dollars 30 50 almost 70 dollars for these three items guys so just adjust your mind okay it can be quite depressing and annoying and infuriating. So yeah, guys, I want to make my hair. Yesterday, I was able to wash my hair. I've been wanting to wash my hair 
this is the last time i washed my hair guys and that was like a month plus ago i've not had time to wash my hair so yesterday i was able to wash my hair i washed my hair guys see i washed it and it conditioned it so i want to weave it guys my kids have woken up so i don't know if i will have the time hey guys so i just finished making dinner and we went shopping we went to wholesale club so i just put everything away like three weeks since i had my birthday and i'm still receiving presents like how cool so i got sent some presents by a friend of mine and um, i also got sent a present by a brand okay so guys i'm just going to start opening my presents I've opened this one already that's because I needed to actually see if it was okay and if it wasn't then I would need to send it but I'm going to unbox this ones with you so these presents are from my friend Fifi yeah she's not here in Canada but she was so kind to send me this present thank you Fifi I love you she ordered these things from ASOS and it was delivered to me uh, I just gave her my size so I think this is a pair of pants so this is pants from my friend Fifi they are so cute wow they're kind of long though I'll have to try them on to see but it's such a lovely color guys this is like the color light brown or gray or beige yeah beige kind of chinos fabric let me show you guys okay i don't know if you can see like some kind of um chinos fabric yeah so beautiful second present still from my friend Fifi. This is a skirt. It's so beautiful. Like this is like my favorite color, guys. I have a thing for green and khaki. It is so so beautiful, guys. Wow. Okay. Wow. Can you guys see? So beautiful. I can't wait to rock this, guys. See? Oh, wow. So so lush, like the fabric is amazing. Okay. And then this one I had already opened. These are boots, guys. I bought this ones for myself. Just because I mean it's boot season. It's winter, it's boot season. These are my second pair of boots. I got this one. Okay. I'm going to be holding it up to the camera so that you guys see. So these are like my first pair of fashion boots. Can you guys see? So beautiful, guys. I particularly, in fact, what I loved about the boots, the what the reason why I got them was because of the the zipper thing. And then look at the heel, guys. And the leather is so good. It is exactly what I imagined it would be on the website. Guys, this is from a brand called Stradivarius. If you shop on ASOS, if you're acquainted with the UK brands, you'll be acquainted with this brand. I have quite a lot of things from Stradivarius. Their quality is really not bad. So when I see their stuff and I like it, I get it because I can be sure of the quality. And this is actually not bad. The boots are lovely. Now, the fourth product that I want to unbox is from a brand called Rose Forever. Rose Forever reached out to me about the time of my birthday. 
saying that they have been following me for a while they like my videos and they would like to send me those bouquet just to appreciate me appreciate my videos and they asked me to go on their website and you know choose a bouquet I went on their website I chose a bouquet and they shipped it to me guys so before I even go into opening this um, stuff I don't know what it looks like but I know what I chose but I don't know what is in here guys I haven't opened it you can see but I can I must say that the shipping for this brand is actually fast it wasn't too long after they sent me a mail with the tracking details to this package that I received it so I let me say it shipped in like five days guys I'm just going to open it so you guys can see what the rose bouquet looks like I have a feeling I'm going to love it. I really love flowers. Now, the, the amazing thing about Rose Forever is that their flowers are handcrafted, handpicked roses. And I don't know, they just have this way of making sure that the roses are perfect. And these roses can actually last you, they can last you for a year, guys. I'm curious to see roses that can last for a year. Oh my god. Wow. Guys, let me show you. Can you guys see? Wow. Guys, these roses are so beautiful. So beautiful. Look. Guys, I have not seen anything so beautiful. These roses are perfect. They smell amazing. They smell absolutely amazing so rose forever is a as a company who specializes in producing bouquets like this as presents for anniversaries holidays birthdays just to say thank you to appreciate someone just like they appreciated me these roses are delicately packaged and they are preserved with natural oils that can keep these roses up to a year. So these roses are going to last a year or even more than a year. The company Rose Forever has been so generous to give me a discount code to offer to my subscribers to shop from their website, buy a rose bouquet for a loved one, a friend, a fiance a spouse husband or wife your mother your father your sister your friend anyone can actually appreciate these roses and the most wonderful thing about the roses is that they come in different colors you can choose the colors based off on your mood or you can just stick to the conventional but guys I can assure you when you get on their website they have such beautiful colors ranging from purple to black if I that was the first time I ever saw black roses there's black there's midnight blue there's yellow there's pink there's purple whatever color you fancy rose forever has got a bouquet specially made for you so guys once you have an anniversary you have an occasion you're looking for a gift for a loved one and you're not very sure where to shop please think about rose forever you can get 20 percent off when you shop from the rose forever website using my discount code guys all right go own one of this or gift somebody one of this all right make someone happy hey there good morning guys so it's 11 57 or so i'm actually late for my driver's um, lessons just because i was trying to do too much this morning trying to <laughs> it's sunday so i have to make sure eliana is okay i have to at least prep some food because 
my lessons are going to be for two hours meaning i will not be back home till maybe about three three o'clock and um i just need to be sure that i don't spend my whole time there so i needed to start some kind of food prep because i'm going to cook so that when i get back home some things would already be ready so my lessons are supposed to start at 12 and i'm walking to the registry because it's not too far from my house but i already know i'm late because before i get there maybe another 15 20 minutes and it's almost 12. so it's just lessons anyway so i guess i'll just send a text to my um instructor that i'll just be 10 minutes late and then yeah so i don't know what to expect <laughs> i don't know what to expect with lessons not had any before but i'm hoping to just be upfront with her about what i can do and what i cannot do i have never done parallel packing i have watched the videos seems okay I know the theory in my head, but I have not practiced it. And the uphill packing and downhill packing, those are things I need to learn. So I'll just be open and upfront with her about that. And listen to what she has to say, but basically I think she's just going to have me drive around and she will assess me, correct me, and all of that. I could have driven to this place, so considering that I have my car, but you're not supposed to drive alone as a class 7 holder you're supposed to have someone with a class 5 sitting with you and um, I could have used my car but my husband warned me against driving there because if he's not with me it's assumed that I have been driving around with my class 7 and I could get into trouble for that so you have to be careful so I have to walk thank God it's not so far yeah I'll catch up with you guys maybe when the lessons are on. I don't think she will let me film. Oh yes, my instructor is a... My teacher is female. <laughs> so I don't think she will let me film, but um, whatever. When I'm done, I'll let you guys know how it is. I'm hoping to be able to do two or three lessons. I might not need up to that. My husband says I might not need up to that. I'm hoping I don't actually. Thank you. I'm hoping I don't actually. Okay, so see you guys after my lessons. Bye. Guys, I'm in my instructor's car. She brought me to her house. I should drive her to her house. She wants to pick up a medication. Not the way this Filipino woman never used me do today. Right turn, left turn, back here, go straight. You did wrong, you did this, bad habit, put your legs straight, don't stop there, they hit you from behind. Oh man, no, it's I never hear today, I don't tire. Two hours. Hey, Chimo. We're going back to the registry now, and then I can go home. Oh my driving no easy. Chai! Even the lesson, maybe lesson, now walk. You go eh, eh, shut. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later, but I'm so tired. This is my instructor's car. <laughs> First thing, and I that she asked me for driver's license. I finish. Hey, I think we're done. I'm supposed to drive her to the to the um to the place now to the registry and drop her there. I think she has another class. I'm so tired. It's stressful, guys. I'll see. Hey guys, good morning. I just got to work. It's like um, ten minutes past nine. For the first time since I resumed working here for like, I've been working here now at my office for like maybe four months or four months plus. But this is the first time that I am ever coming to work late, guys. And that's because it snowed. I have never experienced anything like this in my life, guys. <laughs> when I came out this morning and the garage door went up, and I saw the snow, I was weak. First of all, I've never driven on snow. It is something else. And this is not even the cold. We have not reached the really cold months, okay? 
this is just really beginning of winter today it's minus six degrees it is cold it is snowing the snow is thick it can be frightening i've never driven on snow before i had to just man up and just keep going because my kids were in the car and they're relying on me to protect them and to get them to school guys so i drove with them i just kept driving really slowly dropped them at school i was even feeling for them because their whole school was covered and they had to walk in the snow yes they have all their coats and their boots and their gloves and their hats everything then I had to come to work. Where I park is really far off. Um, it's, it's not close to my office at all, okay? <laughs> not as, it's close, but it's not that close. Like, I have to still walk. I have to still walk to my office. And I literally wasn't even able to really look at the road, guys, because the wind was just blowing. The snow was just going everywhere. Ah. I had my gloves i didn't have a cap i just used my hood on my coat i'm going to show you guys outside what it looks like okay i'm going to take the camera outside quickly before my day starts i'm going to take the camera outside and just show you what it looks like okay it can be frightening can i get used to this yes do i like it no but this is the life i chose <laughs> okay and i want you guys to see this okay so that you don't be arranging your mind as you are coming. All right, guys. Let me take you guys outside so you can see what I'm, I'm talking about. It's just my street, guys. And the pavement in front of my office covered in snow. That's the road. You guys see. And in all of this, the snow is still falling. My phone camera just can't pick it up. I was using my normal camera, maybe you guys will see more. Guys, thick snow, guys. The path that I actually have to walk along is actually thicker than this. It's cold. Okay, yes, you guys can see the snow, right? You can see the snow falling, tiny flakes on it. <sighs> okay, guys, so that's it. When I am leaving and I pick up the kids, I will show you what it's like because I know that I'm literally going to be clearing snow off my car. I'll show you what I have to do before I get into my car. Guys, that's it. Let me just go start my day. Bye. So bad.